Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Sync Fusion WPF Diagram Control. In this video, you will see how to add the Sync Fusion WPF Diagram Control along with Diagram Ribbon Control and Stencil to a WPF project. Also, you will see how to group the shapes and change the theme for the Sync Fusion controls. First, open the Visual Studio IDE. Create a new WPF project. Name the project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Visual Studio creates the WPF project for you. Now, let me show you how to add a Sync Fusion diagram control in this app. I have already installed Sync Fusion WPF setup and configured the Sync Fusion controls in the Visual Studio toolbox. First, in the grid layout, add two columns and set the width to auto. Then add two rows and set the height to auto. Now, from the toolbox, choose the SF Diagram Ribbon Control, drag, and drop into the main window. Let me resize the Diagram Ribbon Control. You can notice that the required assembly reference has been added automatically. Next, from the toolbox, choose the SF Diagram Control and drag drop into the main window. Name it as Diagram. In the Diagram Ribbon's data context, create a new data binding and bind the diagram. In the XAML, you can notice the data context binding in the diagram ribbon. Let me run the application. You can see the diagram control with diagram ribbon. Next, let me show you how to add shapes and symbols to the diagram. Syncfusion diagram provides a gallery of reusable symbols and diagram elements called stencil that can be dragged and dropped onto the diagram canvas at any number of times. The inbuilt shapes available in the Syncfusion resource dictionary are basic shapes, flow shapes, arrow shapes, data flow shapes, swim lane shapes, BPM and editor shapes, and many more. Let me show you how to add the basic shapes to the diagram. To do so, first, add the Windows resources. Use the resource dictionary and within it get the merged dictionaries. Get the resource dictionary from the source Syncfusion SF Diagram WPF in the path, component, resources, basic shapes.saml. Next, let me add a style for the nodes. Add the style property and set the target type as Sync Fusion node. Add setter property and set the property as shape style. Add setter value and set the style's target type as path. Add setter for property fill and set a color value. Do the same for stroke, stroke thickness, and stretch. So, this will set the style for the nodes in the diagram once we bind the basic shapes to the diagram. Now, let me add a stencil and bind this resource. Add a stencil and set the grid row as 1. Grid column as 0 and width as 200. Set the title as shapes. This title will be displayed at the top of the stencil. Within the stencil, add stencil categories. Add stencil category collection and add a stencil category. You can add one or more stencil categories here. As I planned, I add the basic shapes alone for this example. Set the title. Add the keys property and set the basic shapes as a static resource. Now, run the application. You can see the stencil with basic shapes. To add shapes into the diagram, I need to initialize the nodes, connectors, and groups in the SF diagram. To do so, in the SF diagram, add the SF diagram nodes, initialize the node collection. Add the SF diagram connectors, initialize the connector collection. In the same way, add the SF diagram groups, initialize the group collection. Run the application. Now, you can drag and drop shapes into the diagram canvas and connect them. Also, you can group them so that you can perform group operations. Next, let me add flow shapes to the stencil. To do so, in the stencil category collection, add another stencil category, add the title as flow shapes. Add the keys property and set the static resource flow shape. Run the application. You can see the flow shapes too added in the stencil. Let me group these shapes into two groups as per their category. To achieve it, in the stencil class, add the stencil symbol groups property, add the symbol groups collection, within it add a symbol group provider and set the mapping name to key. This will group the symbols based on the key. In this scenario, the shapes will be grouped based on basic shapes and flow shapes. Let us check how this works. Run the application. You can see the basic shapes grouped separately with the key name basic shapes. Here you can see the flow shapes. Next, let me change the theme for all the Syncfusion control. 
There are 27 built-in themes that can be applied using the SF Skin Manager. Some of the built-in themes color derivations can be customized using Syncfusion WPF Theme Studio. To do so, open the NuGet Package Manager, search for Syncfusion Themes Fluent Light.WPF, choose the needed version and install it. In the code behind, use the Syncfusion SF Skin Manager. In the main window constructor, call the SF Skin Manager's set theme method and pass the window object and a new theme by passing the theme name as Fluent Light. Run the application. You can notice the diagram ribbon, stencil and diagram controls are applied with the Fluent Light theme. That's it. Let me summarize the main points. You saw how to add the Syncfusion WPF diagram control with diagram ribbon and stencil to a WPF project. Also, you saw how to group the shapes and change the theme for the Syncfusion controls. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our WPF products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.